<laughs> yeah, yeah, exciting dog here. Excited, you're excited. I get it, I get it. All right, go on, run. <laughs> Just got done doing a video here. You see the beautiful red apples up there on the tree. I really turned a dark red this year. And uh, let me get the camera switched around here. So just got done with two videos. Color looks like it's turned up or something. Um, everything's all set up yet. I'm still wired in to the microphone. Right there's my recorder and there's the camera, if I can point to it. There it is. And my notes are down there with my Bible. And um, doing the video, and um, right over here, see if I can show it. There's a, eh, that, there's a tree right there. I'm pointing to it, I don't know. Back in there. And um, um, I put some uh, kitchen compost type of stuff there at the base of the tree. Um, to, you know, help it to produce good soil, then the tree can help, you know, grow and everything else. And right in the middle of my study, and Luther's over there, and he gets into the compost and things, and I'm thinking, do I mess up the study and yell at him? You know, get out of there! And I thought, ah, I don't want to mess up the study. So, uh, the challenges of having a crazy dog around. But, um, so, I have to pull my microphone out now. The behind the scenes stuff here going on. Um, you can actually see on this on my camera here, you can see the viewfinder is showing me. You can see right there, viewfinder like that. So, but uh, kind of a neat setup I have here. Um, if you can see down here. Let me see if I can get this thing up here. This is a Milwaukee tool little thing that you click on there and then you can plug a 110 volt you know thing into it. Shut this off and, um, and then you can run your cameras or whatever off off of this and it lasts really long. It's you know, pretty powerful actually. Uh, this little battery adapter here trying to get this thing off with one hand it's not going to work but just your standard 18 volt uh, battery there so that helps to do video out here because camera batteries and uh, double-a batteries for my recorder right back in here right there uh, they don't always last very long so um, this is a little continuation here. Hopefully you can hear me with the sound, the wind and everything else. Um, I'll have to come back, I guess. Well, I'll just I'll just talk here. I was going to walk up the trail there and go over and show you some neat leaves there, but I'll just stay here because I don't... It almost looks like it's going to start to rain. Um, but, uh... Still working on the hats and the shirt thing and whatever else. I might do... A couple of different websites that way people can kind of just go in and you know see what's available and and whatever that's kind of where I'm at right now um, I'm going to have a, a basically a logo for the ministry the my webmaster is making that right now so um, well you know it should be out here before real long and uh, we will see what happens with that um, again it's not about, you know, making huge amounts of money or anything else like that. That's not what the hats and the shirts and the bumper stickers and everything is about. It's about getting past the shadow banning that happens to me on YouTube and uh, getting word out there and helping to get the truth out there. Um, because unfortunately, there aren't many people that tell the truth when it comes to the word of God. And um, I've always tried to do my very best to tell the truth. And... Uh, so we'll get that out but um i might try to do some more live stream type of stuff but if i see something i need to talk about i might try to get that out again just to explain we're in that transitional time right now 
where we're going from, you know, autumn right now here in northern Maine to uh, winter. And as winter starts to come, then, you know, it's going to be switching some things up. And uh, I'll have some more time. I'd like to actually write some more articles in the future and maybe a, another book or two. And wanting to get back to the, the thing of writing, that's actually how the ministry started. I don't know if many people don't know that, I guess, but um, I actually was writing before I started to do video. And um, the video just kind of came along as, you know, because I was hitting this thing of I can't really show certain documents and proof and whatever unless I would have a camera. So I made my first DVD from NIV to KJV. And that's how the video thing got started. And then I actually had an older brother say, um, family member, say to me, um, hey, you ought to try YouTube. You know, try to get on YouTube. You'd think, I think you'd probably like it there. Not thinking that I would do ministry stuff there, but, you know, just get on YouTube as a way to see things and, uh, you know, neat website. And that's what led me to YouTube back in 2008. So, been on YouTube since 2008. And um, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, but... I can hear Oliver's over there, um, but uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, the thing of Wolfton. Yeah, little update on Wolfton. They had this public hearing thing. Um, would have liked to have gone to it, but there was just no way we could do that. We couldn't get down there. It was in the town of Millinocket at the high school down there, and um, Ron Little was there, the CEO, president and CEO of Wolfton, and, and um, there were some local people here from the area including a guy we know and he was in support of Wolfton which was very disappointing to see that and um, it's the same thing same exact thing I heard in Pennsylvania well why don't we just give them a chance why don't we just let it you know if you don't know what Wolfton is they're trying to mine to the north of us which would ruin the night skies with all the light pollution it would also probably ruin the aquifer basically poison the water there I mean they're going to be using arsenic and a lot of other toxic chemicals to m do their mining operations. So uh, all mines pollute the environment, every single one of them. There's never been one that did not pollute the environment. They're all terrible. And so it's rather frustrating because we bought this land, which was a dream property. It's beautiful here, as you can see, uh, just wonderful. But if I take the time to build our dream place and put a lot of money into it, and then Wolfton gets their way, then, you know, I just built, spent all this time building our dream house. And so that's what we've been struggling with for years. Since 2017, we bought this property in September of 2017. Wolfton bought their property in November of 2017. So had they bought it, their property first, north of us, I would have never bought this place. I would have never bought this in this area here. I would have moved someplace else. And we were looking other places and this place came up for sale and and i looked at it and i thought well you know i was just kind of we prayed about it and we had made offers on other properties and tried to get other properties and nothing was working so we prayed and said okay lord and i offered a lot less than they were asking for this property and um we got it and so that's been the struggle for years that's why I'm, a lot of times I just I don't get to doing work and whatever because, you know, this is an off-grid property and we have a lot of work to do. And I'm not complaining about that. I like to, I like to live the life that we live. But the problem is I get so many people contacting me and it becomes extremely hard, if not impossible, to answer everybody. So juggling these two lives all these years and, you know, this Wolfton thing, it just keeps getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And I was thinking maybe we would know this month if they're going to get permission from the Land Use Planning Commission. Now they're saying it probably won't be till the end of the year. <sighs> you know, great. And you know, the way this country's going, I don't even know how that's going to work. Uh, the stock market's not looking so good and, and the banking system and you know, oh, let's start another war now. Let's have war with between Israel and the Islamic nations, Iran in particular, and we'll have the Russia-Ukraine war, and maybe we'll even have the Chinese-Taiwan war. And that's okay, that won't hurt the economy, we have plenty of money. I mean, 
The bubbles that are bursting in America right now are absolutely horrifying. But it's what the Bible said would happen. So, you know, you just kind of say, well, it's supposed to be this way, but <laughs> we do our best, brethren. Um, but just please pray for us. Uh, we really do appreciate people's prayers. And, um, you know, my favorite place to preach is out here, out in nature. I, the studio stuff is fine, you know, but uh, I just like the, the challenge of being able to come out here, set up the, tra the camera tripod and tripod I can speak and the audio recorder sometimes I have that on me but um, because then I can be anywhere at all and it doesn't matter I don't have to be real close to it but it works better to have it plugged into power because then it doesn't go dead on me um, usually it doesn't do that but so uh, just a little update ministry update here um, let me know in the comments what do you like most about the ministry do you like live streams do you like in-studio videos um, do you like things that are written? Um, should I be writing more articles and putting them on the website? It's actually a good idea because it helps to get more traffic to the website. Um, again, my webmaster was telling me about that and he said it's actually um, the, basically the computer algorithms and whatever else they pick up on text. Um, you know, artificial intelligence and whatever else does not pick up on images. It picks up on text describing the image and, um, and a lot of other things. I, I, I'm not trying to be exhaustive with covering that whole thing but um so you know what do you like about the ministry what do you wish you could see more of um you know should i do more live streams should i do you know in studio stuff more should i do more try to make more videos outdoors and uh you know another thing with this year it has been the most rainy year i can remember just lots of rain so that's been another issue um but uh, let me know in the comments so Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.